Hello everybody, my name is Matthias Alvaro. Welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. In today's episode, we are going to be continuing sort of where we left off. Um, I did do a few things off screen. I did try to fix the check-in, or the uh, boarding desk uh, adjacent, not really adjacent, uh, symmetrical problem that we discovered in the previous episode where this one's like, you know, the relative position to the door is different for all of these except for the two on the end. And I kind of messed it up because it's not going to let me remove this boarding stand unless this stand here is shut down. If I shut down this uh, aircraft stand, it cancels every flight that's on it. I obviously don't want to do that. So I put it as closing, which means that I'm probably not going to put any flights to these two stands anymore. Which it looks like we have flights on it all week. So... Yeah, that's, that's going to be a little bad. Um, I guess we... Is that Alpha 3? Well, that's Alpha 2. I really don't need to fix Alpha 2. Alpha 2 is fine. Um, I don't know. In the Since the last episode, I did do a other tweaking. Um, what else did I do? Okay, yeah, I did add this taxiway stand here. So we're going to build some of this, this episode, uh, and expand a little bit. So let's do this. Oops. Oh, I like that, how it no longer removes the taxiway when you remove uh, the taxiway lights. Oh, the other thing I did do was I named the stand. So you can see we have Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Alpha 3, Alpha 4, Bravo 1, and then this is Charlie. So I also named that. That's cool. Uh, let's go this way so that I can kind of see what we're doing here. We're going to put in boarding desks. Everything's going to be exciting. How do we, how should we do this? Should we do it like right at the door here? Oh, it must be in a secure zone. There we go. Um, okay, everything's good. Okay. Let's go to the, here. Is that like right there got it trying to keep these all perfectly kind of together kind of like this one is all right so now let's build the floor here what flooring do we have for this one i think we had we had this one There we go. All right. Now, I was thinking about the seating area, and I was thinking we could potentially add tables on the end. Like this. Like, you know how they have, like, sometimes magazines and things like that? I was thinking we could probably do that. And then on this end... Let's see. Da -da -da. Go here. We'll remove that. Let's see if I was to go back here. Once they remove that, we could do something a little cool. See, that, like, that looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Now, we obviously are going to have to build these uh, chairs. We could build that over here, too. Um, we don't need to build that immediately, though. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of things I want to do at this airport. I want remote stands. I want to expand. I need more money. I think the way that we can earn more money, the best way at this point in time, other than putting more stands is this night flight it'll allow us to earn money a hunt 100 hours a day yeah 100 hours a day 24 hours a day because if we do the night flights we can have flights literally from here all the way to the end here going into the next day so literally we'll be non-stop uh we'll have non-stop flights coming in every single day which will basically mean we're, we're earning money 24 7 um you know, obviously the remote stands will earn us some money as well. I don't think that's the way we want to go at the moment. Oh. I, you know, I was looking at this line and I saw that there was no line here. And I thought that maybe this these two little points here were disconnected, but they're not. Um, so, so yeah, I, I think that's what we should do. And I think the way we can do that the best is just by building more stands at the moment. We could potentially put remote stands too, but I, I don't know. I don't think we're going to do that yet. I really like that sound effect. Do you hear that? Ding. Ding. 
I don't know why. I, I like that. I also like the music in the background. It definitely makes something else to listen to. I don't know how loud it is. I feel like it's a good, good limit at the moment. I could maybe just turn it up just a tad. Hopefully you all can hear it. All right, maybe it's super loud and you can't even hear me anymore. Um, how's everything else working? I wonder why that janitor was looking at that guy taking a crap. That makes me wonder. Okay. Well, you know what? He can be him. That's fine. Uh, I don't like that. I don't know if I like that very much. Um, no, 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 no. No. Nope, I don't like that. I do not like this. Ah. This is so tedious of a task. Like, it would be so much better if you didn't really have to worry about this. And it would be also great if I could select more than one stand at a time. Because think about it, when we have to do the cargo bay, we have to select every one of these one at a time. And if you're in a massive airport, that takes time to have to do that one by one, you know? That's my one feature that I want to see, is select multiple, select multiple, uh, entities, if that's maybe the right term. There we go. I think that's going to be a little bit better for us, if we were to put it right there, rather than where we originally had it. Then again, that does kind of break what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Let's see if I was to do that. Do that. I could not fit that there. I hate this. How it wants to demolish the wall when I do that. No, I don't want to demolish the wall. So three. Let's see. At this point. Oh, that's four. Okay, we can do this. There we go. That works perfectly. Perfectly amazing. Okay, that that's not going to fit. That's not going to fit, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, it's still not going to fit. Oh, wait a minute. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, it's not going to fit, you idiot, because you're using the small windows here. I'm using these tiny windows. It's obviously not going to fit. Okay. Or maybe it could fit with this one. It's not It's not centered. That's too big. That's too big. Uh, oh, it's not centered. Nah, it's fine. I don't need to worry about windows there. I don't need to worry about windows there. That's fine. Still not centered there. That's okay. Ah. ah, I hate the wall. I hate how it wants to demolish the wall all the time. That's so annoying. Hold on one second. I, I hate that. that. Demolishing the wall is, like, really annoying. That's not symmetrical either. That's fine. There we go. I think that the windows look a lot nicer than the walls themselves. Which I think that the detail for them is really high. I like that a lot. It's amazing, actually. There we go. So they're not getting to work with that. We need some seating for this area. So I don't I don't think we really need a lot of seating. As we've never really needed a bunch of seating. Could do, um... How about we do something like this this time? Have the gate seating near the wall. I don't like that one right there. Now we could obviously have some regular seating, but I think having, like, the seating towards the wall would be kind of nice. Kind of change it up just a bit. And, of course, maybe we, can, maybe we can make this more like a lounge. Why don't we make that more like a lounge, right? Let's make this more like a lounge.
Um, I don't really like that very much. And we can put like a circular table in the middle. That might look really nice if we were to have like a little lounge here. Oh, that's so cool. You know, I never really thought about that idea. Because, you know, I was, I, I really only use the couches and things like that for like the workers. But that kind of gives me an interesting idea that we could potentially put a lounge right here. I love the new sound effects. This is great. There we go. Oops. Perfect window. Um, so now we're going to need more workers for that. We're going to need two, four, six, eight. So we're going to need eight more, eight more ramp agents, which I did hire more airport staff in the pre staff. One, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six, eight. I got five. So I need three more. Got it. Um, I did hire more air, airport. Airport, that's what I was about to say. Airport staff <laughs> since the previous episode. So now we have a little bit more kind of going around here. Which is pretty good. Oh my god. Look at that. Like, what are these people doing where the ground is getting cracks? And like, what? Like, what are they doing with their lives? The maintenance requested for Lodge Gate 13 has been received and is being processed. I can't select the stands that way. I cannot wait until we get catering into this game. Catering will be absolutely amazing. Okay, so now we have Charlie, which is not opened up yet, to commercial flights. Let's get that rolling. Da, 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 da. There we go. Look, we're doing pretty good for ourselves here. So, okay. So, we'll, we'll have them come in tomorrow. We'll start off with... With Georgia State. Georgia State Airlines is going to start us off tomorrow. Which, actually, we're going to reschedule this for... I can't reschedule... Okay, I can I was going to say, I can't reschedule it for a different stand. I really wish I could scroll down just a little bit more. Oh, Kate, what? It's not a, too close to an adjacent flow. Oh, you know what the issue is? We might not have enough of these guys here. For that. What do we have? We have two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, I see the issue that we have here. The issue we have here. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What is the issue that we have here? We might have not we might not have enough check-in desks. Let's see. Let's let me read this. Maybe maybe I'm just not reading this properly. Unless, oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the issue. Because look. Yeah, that's the problem that we're having here. Is because tomorrow, tom uh, well, on Sunday, they'll have two flights right there. So that's why we can't put any flights there. I see, oh, I see what you're laying down. I see what you're saying. Okay, that makes sense to me. Which is weird. What? Oh. What? Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Um, I'm just going to put that right there. Hopefully that saves, right? Yes! For some reason, it wasn't detecting the Georgia State flight that's here, so that, that was weird. Let's get Skyfly. Um, I know that there's the auto scheduler, but I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do the auto scheduler yet. Not until I can figure out how that's working and we can get ourselves a little bit more stable. Look at how much money we have. Holy crap. We got a heckin' good amount of money here. Wow, we have no flights. Flights. We have no flights coming in. Oh, look at this. 
uh, Skyfly really dominates this terminal at the moment. <coughs> oh yeah, that looks really nice. Perfect. What's happening? Hmm. I don't know what this is going to look like. That might look really lame, but whatever. I like this music. Now, I didn't get any copyright, I don't think, on the last episode. Ooh, that music. Now, that music doesn't really fit in very well. Hold on one second. <coughs> While I die. I need three more ramp agents. Ramp agents. Now I need more staff, so I'm gonna hire more airport staff. I'm gonna just hire as much airport staff as I can as I can possibly fit in my pocket. Now what is this? Maybe I should expand my my uh, staff zone to this area too. I could do that potentially. I I don't remember what my original intention for this was. Oh, I hate this. These emails. I've been I I decided to clean my inbox, which I actually don't do that in real life. <laughs> Good day. Talk to you. Uh, uh, so London, England. Our accountant's fifteen thousand pounds. Fifteen million. Fifteen million pounds sterling. It'd be great if you could actually pay for this. Like, why can't you pay for this? Like, it'd be great if you could actually pay for it. Um, or maybe, maybe there's a, a place to respond. Okay, that just goes back. Oh, it's my saved. Oh, that's my set saved. It'd be great if you could pay that. Like, why why do it if you can't pay for it? Am I right? Look at how much money we have. Holy crap. Let's see if we can get procurements. Is it really worth it to get procurements at the moment? I'm actually wondering about that. Let me go to finances. No, it's not. It'd be great. If, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it's not available until I install procurement. Well, actually, maybe not, though, because it did. I thought Jet A Fuel was already there. And see, heavy landing fee, even though we can't. Yeah. It'd be great if they could have um, cargo fees, right? Don't they have that in real life? Like baggage handling fees? Maybe that's the airport. And then, like, that expense. Maybe. Where's my procurements? I obviously cannot figure out what I'm doing with my life here. Procurements. Shops. 50 grand. I want shops. 20, 250 grand. Oh, that only costs 150. Yes. You don't have the requirements. I need a CIO. All right. Hate me, but I'm... I don't have the requirements. I need a strategy director and a CIO. Let's see. What does my board look like? Uh, CIO and strategy director. Okay, let's get that. Executives. CIO. Man, all y'all are pretty good. I'm going to hire her. And a strategy director. You look like you know what you're doing. You got good mechanical skills. They're both pretty good, honestly, but this guy's got better technical skills. I don't know if that means anything yet. All right, so they should be coming in a bus somewhere. Um, okay. So I'm going to go to procurement. I'm going to unlock this. I was going to say I was going to hire that. No, I'm not going to hire it. You dingus. All right, there we go. There's our two workers. Do they know what they're doing with their lives? Yes, they do. This is good. No available check-in desk due to no available time slot. I knew it. God. I knew, okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to say that. 
Who? G757? G524. Oh, this guy. Okay, crap. Yeah, we need more check-in desks. Maybe we should expand this a little bit. Huh. What am I going to do about this? I don't have any cargo, so I can't really say that I can really do that yet. We could potentially put the cargo somewhere else, like over here in this building. Like a building over here, maybe? Um, I was thinking about putting a general aviation stand there, but that doesn't mean we have to do it that way. We just have problems right now because we just don't have enough check-in desks or space or anything like that. You know what I wish? I can't select it. Never mind. Oh, crap. No, no. Okay, so you know what? It doesn't seem like I have that selection problem anymore. It'd be great if they had a small version of this. See, like, it'd be great if they had a small version of this, because I could, I could put, like, one of those two, those two, like, uh, like, I could build half of this right here and fit it in perfectly fine. I, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. There we go. That works. Let's just put one right there. Okay. Desks. I don't have enough money. Who are you talking about? Crap. So that guy doesn't have enough space. Everyone's going to be unhappy with us. It's surprising that this airline, despite not having that many flights, is so happy. <laughs> it's summer. Look at how amazing this place looks in the summer. There's obviously dirt from probably dead grass and stuff like that. Bathrooms. You guys are fine with your bladder, don't worry. You guys are all good. I'm really thinking about expanding the staff zone to this area. And then maybe expanding the check-in desks here. You know what I never added? I never put the queues for these guys. Uh, I don't have... It costs money to put in queues, really. But it doesn't cost money to put in lights in a taxiway. Seems legit. Okay. Um... Okay, well, we're just going to have to do what we got right now. We don't really have much of a choice. I don't have money for that. Let's see how they're going to roll here. There's a lot of people. I really like this look at the moment. Our first flight should be coming in. I figured out there's four speeds. So if you hit the accent key, which I don't know what the real term for this is, the accent, you know, if you're like looking at Spanish um, and like they have like uh, the N and it's like Enya, pronounced Enya and they have like the little line, the squiggly line on the top. That's what I mean by the accent. It's right next, it's to the left of the one key. There's like four speeds. So I'm on speed one, and I'm going to hit the accent key. And look, they're walking slower, and it, it's not shown up down here. It's not shown up down here because they only have pause. They only have three speeds here. But on the keyboard, they have four speeds. So you have one, which is the accent, and then you press one. They walk a little faster. That's normal speed. And then two three and that's the fastest speed there and then they have pause which i don't i think the pause button yeah is space space is the pause button Alrighty, well you know what we've done what we can do i think well i don't know should, should we end the episode or do you want to watch a little bit i don't know i'll leave the choice up to you we're gonna watch the airport a little bit just gonna watch the airport um if you don't want to watch that that's fine i'll see you next episode but uh if you want we'll just watch the airport a little bit see operation See how our operations are doing. You know what would be great is they had express check-in. You know, like, if we could build express check-in, that might not be too bad. Deboarding, deboarding, deboarding. Look at this. All right, I'm taking a picture of this here.
uh, which Fraps is doing its thing where it likes to be really slow, so I'm going to take a few pictures just in case. F9 must be the same key as the debug menu. Well, the debug menu isn't that. Isn't that like I? No, it's, uh, what is it? F, no, it's, whoa, what is that? What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. Is this like if your computer doesn't have enough energy? Because if you look at the yellow letters, uh, yellow letters, yellow numbers on the top left-hand corner, I don't know. It's, it's F11? No, it's F10. F10's the debug menu. Which is kind of nice if something gets stuck sometimes. I haven't really seen the ability for it to essentially uh, do really anything. How about this? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this airport on a time lapse for the rest of the episode. And then that'll be the end of the episode. Um, yeah, just so you guys can kind of see what we're doing with this airport and kind of what I do when I before I start the episode where I skip a day. And yeah, I'll leave the time lapse right here. See you next episode. All right, you know what? Never mind to the time lapse. I feel like it's going to be really boring. Um, we do have an issue. Um, did you see that? What that message that just popped up? Um, our general aviation flights. One of our general aviation flights did not get the requested service, and it seems that now our rating is going down because of that. So that kind of sucks. I'm going to end the episode here. I'm not going to really worry about time lapse. I might do a time lapse on its own episode. I feel like this is just going to take a little bit too long. Um, and I got to record one other episode and I have some other things I got to do. So, um, I'm going to leave the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.